Hi there, my name is Neil Blevins, and this tutorial is called Skylight in Blender. So a skylight is a type of light in CG that emits light from a sphere or dome that surrounds your scene, and uses ambient occlusion to provide realistic soft shadows. It's frequently combined with an HDRI of a sky to create realistic skylighting, and can provide both diffuse and specular illumination. If you're an old 3ds Max user like me, you may have used the skylight in vanilla Max, or you may be a V-Ray user and use a V-Ray light set to dome. But when you open Blender, you'll notice several light types, but not the one that we're looking for. So there's several ways to create a skylight in Blender, including a few plugins, but let me show you the way I found the most useful, which involves adding it to the world. Okay, so here we are inside of Blender, and uh, we have uh, two objects here. We have this object, and then we also have the uh, ground plane. And just to show you the material on this object, if you go to Object Mode, you can see that it's just a simple uh, principled BSDF with a color, and I've also turned the IOR level to zero just so that there's no specularity, it's just a pure diffuse surface. So very simple, and um, now if we want to deal with the skylight, you go to Shading, and then instead of Object, you go to World, and this is where you place the skylight. So we're first going to start with a very simple skylight, um, and let me go to interactive rendering mode, and you can see it there. So this is the skylight is just a very simple, straightforward color, and then that color is being pumped into the surface um, of the world output here. And so there is the skylight, and it's um, shooting down its uh, color, um, which is hitting the surface, and you can see the nice soft shadows going on. So now. Generally, you won't be using just a simple color. You'll probably be using an HDRI with this. And so that is what this one is over here. So I'll attach this, and it's going to take a second to update the lights. And then once it does, you can see now, um, here is an HDR, which is of a sky. And um, this black area here, by the way, is simply because the bitmap that I'm using in the background has a black bar at the bottom. It doesn't go uh, full 360. It only goes uh, 180 up top. Um, so anyway, so you can see here how the color from up here is also um, reflecting in the color on the surface. You can see the blues here. Uh, from here, you can see some of the, um, the, the oranges going on. And now let's look at the skylight itself. And this might look a little bit complex, but once I give you all the details, it should be pretty straightforward. So you start off with this uh, HDR node here. So this one has our bitmap in it. And then this is hooked up, uh, the vector is hooked up to a mapping and a texture coordinate node. And the reason to do this is because if you go down here under rotation, this allows you to rotate um, or move the um, sky that's up here. So let's say you wanted the sun to come from a different direction. You could go to the Z value and let's add a 90 degree rotation. And you can see it'll take a second to update the lights. And now you can see the sun is now more over, more over on this side and it's hitting this side here with this going more into shadow. So just a nice simple way to go about changing the uh, orientation of your skylight. And I'll just put that back to zero. So then um, I take this and I pump this into a background node and background node has a strength here. And the strength is set up, uh, right now it's at 0.4, which means it's not um, full strength uh, in the background. But if you put this to one, it'll get brighter. And if you bring it to zero, it'll be black, at which point there'll be no illumination in the scene because the only light is uh, what's coming out from here. And then of course that background is just like the background down here, hooked into the surface node. So then one last bit I wanted to show you, and um, let me hook this one up to here. And this is a variation, and all this does is it hooks up a mix shader, and then the mix shader is attached to this node, light path, to the camera ray. And so what this basically does is this says, okay, if you are the illumination on the surface here, then use the HDR. And if you are not uh, the illumination and instead are the visible uh, view back here, use the color black down here, which is um, what it's mixing together. So this is a good way if you want the illumination of one particular um, HDRI, but you don't want it to appear in the background. Or maybe you want a different HDR to appear in the background, in which uh, case you can take this black one here and just hook this up to a, a different one of these guys. So then the last thing I'm going to show is how this gets affected by um, specularity or how specularity works here. So let me just take the surface and I'm going to increase the IOR level up to one. And there you go. So if I go back to the world here and uh, let me just unhook this, there's kind of three things that this skylight can do. And so the three things it does is uh, number one, it provides, um, if you want to, uh, an image back here. 
Number two, it provides the diffuse illumination on the surface. And then uh, number three, it provides the uh, specular reflection on the surface. So it can do all three. And there you go. There is a simple skylight in Blender. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you find this helpful in your own work. And if you want to see more tutorials like this, please go to neilblevins.com and go to the education section. Or if you want to be notified the next time I post a new video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you very much.